Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Drop the Game here. Welcome to episode one, six, 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 no. Whatever, 160, I don't care. We're out here, we're having a good time. Uh, as you can see, my new partner is actually out in the front. So, a uh, little bit of an oof on that one. I'm sorry. But we got Taylor! Uh, I spelt it with the I, just like that episode already coming out. So, just like the wedlock cage lock, I had to make sure that, like, this dude was actually existent. But, how did we obtain our hasty nature? It literally tells you. Whatever. I tried to be mystical, and the game was just like, na na na, no mysticality here. Ha ha ha. It's like, gosh dang it, game. So we talked to Primo. We got the three months from Primo, and this was the first month that I got. So I let this be on the team for technicality purposes. Yeah. So there we are. So, I have to actually explain some more things because our randomizer, we fixed it. We got it working. So we have Taylor. It has shield dust, so no added effects. Um, we don't have sandstorm, so that's fine. Um, with, with Thunderbolt, a t return, Thundershock, natural gift. We have Babe with the aftermath ability, flame wheel, heat wave, heart. I said, I was about to say heart attack. No, babe, don't have a heart attack. I love you. <laughs> Quick attack and silver wind. <laughs> then we have to want with rough skin as an ability, mist ball, iron head, rock slide, and role play. So, fun little fact. So, in the FAP League, I am searching for a mod with role play, and I think I finally got it. Um, and. Roleplay is such an interesting ability, right? Because, or a move, because it allows me to copy whatever ability somebody has. So if somebody has like a super strong ability, or if I find out something has Wonder Guard, I can switch into Mew, roleplay, now I've got Wonder Guard. Ha. Huh. Now, mind you, there's only one mod with Wonder Guard in actual, like, regular, like, regularly, and that's Shedinja, and... I don't think anybody has that, so... Yeah, but anyway, I, w I want to have fun! I want to get some whack and abilities. So, yeah. Then we have Gary with Agility, Dark Void, Metronome, and Zap Cannon with the uh, Shed Skin ability. We have Nickname with the best ability ever in True Want. Um, nickname, I gave you beautiful card art. Like, really beautiful card art. Like, so beautiful that Joy commented on it. For you to have this? Thank God it's you're not your final evolution, but really, dude? Really? We, we we doing this, are we? And then we got Sniper with Levitate, Crab Hammer, Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, and Haze. Now, mind you guys, remember, this is episode 160, so... You guys get to kill something. So, let me go ahead and show you what mons are in the box. Because you guys didn't get to see the mons in the box. So, I figure it's only fair to make an educated decision. Considering we have a few mons in this box. So, we have in the box, we have Chansey with Solid Rock. Adamant Nature. With Heal Order, Wing Attack, Double Hit, and Feather Dance. So, thank you. And then we have Daryl with Jolly Nature, Dig, Pluck, Uproar, and Facade. So those are the two mods in the box. We are going to get a couple more in today's episode, theoretically. That is all dependent on whether or not we have Pokeballs, which I'm like 99.9% .9 sure we have. But also, I haven't recorded this since like almost a month. So, update on that. So, we have seven Pokeballs, and then we have a Dragon Dance TM. So, Dragon Dance TM, definitely a good thing. Um, okay, good, good, good. That is all positive notes. Uh, we're not going into the gym yet. I am a little bit uh, skittish. A little, a lot skittish. What do you need? I need Pokeballs. Oh, I got $5,800. Oh, shoot. Okay. I definitely got that somewhere. Okay, 13. I should get... The Premier Ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm like, I should have that. Okay, I'll keep that. Antidotes, I got two. That should be okay. Paralyzed Heals, I'll buy five. 
And you know what? I, I'm gonna go with Aaron's roll, rule the multiples of five, because that just feels good. Um, and do I and I don't have sellable items because if I knew that already, we figured that out. Okay. Uh okay. So what are we gonna get? That is the question. Uh what are we wanting? Because the game, they changed the way the game works, which I actually adore that. I love the fact that they changed some things around, got it all figured out. It's an apricorn tree. Give me that orange apricorn. It's not orange, it's yellow. Okay, actually, fun fact, uh, people complain the fact that I call yellow orange and orange yellow. I'm sorry. Like, to me, Raichu's orange. To me, that apricorn was orange. And, but Raichu's tail is yellow. Okay? Like, I'm not faking this. Like, but I've actually had people complain about the fact that I call orange yellow and yellow orange. I'm like, they're close enough. That's, that's, uh, they're really not. I should, but like, but when you're looking at things in the realm of, like, in terms of relativity, does it matter if yellow is yellow and orange is orange? No. There is no significance to that. Now, if it was red and green that were mixed up, like a lot of people have, then I would be worried. And rightfully so. But no. It's orange and it's yellow. There's no difference. It's like, it will, like, watch out for the flashing yellow. And it's like, okay. I see something flashing, therefore it's fine. Like, it may be orange, but like, it doesn't matter because it's flashing. Which means that they, you need to go slower. But, yeah. I don't know. It's just a funny thing. Like, I've had a lot of people do that. Like, like, of course, in, like, with the Raichu, like, definition colors, I know that that's a deep orange and that's a yellow. Like, I can totally see that, no problem. And with a lot of, because a lot of the times, it's on a drastic wavelength, right? So, like, I'm naming this first. It's on a drastic scale, so of course I'm going to see that. But, like, soft orange versus a, like, soft yellow, like, or, like, a dark yellow versus a light orange, I should say. So I don't know why. Like, what is the point in arguing that when they are legitimately basically the same thing in the first place like there, i feel like there is no point in that argument but and if there's no and if people are going to tell me if there's no valid point to the argument then why are you complaining about it because i want to complain simply simply put i want to complain is that is that, is that okay are, are we fine to do that because if we're not fine to do that we'll we'll fix that but yeah anyways it's kind of a very interesting like way to look at things is how does this work what can i do to make it better all that stuff oh <gasps> ah! i forgot what i named you well but i have a chance to actually use you i should be able to catch this relatively easily as well that's another grass type do we have a fire type yeah we do we have babe oh my god we're gonna have a fire water grass score a fire water grass score come on buddy let me have my fire water grass score and you have Acid armor, which means you want to be a bulky Badu. You want to be a bulky Badu. I want you on the team. I know I can't evolve you unless I have the freaking friendship, but I don't care because you're a Badu and you're one of my favorite Pokemon. You, no, honestly, though, Badu is one. Like, I love Roserade a lot. Roserade is a top tier Pokemon, okay? Like, it's fine. And it's supposed to be caught pretty easily, but apparently, apparently what who doesn't want to be on my team as much as I want it to be on my team. Apparently. Thundershock. I'm fast asleep. I don't care. Wake up. Okay. Oh! It, it really does not want to be on my team. Hi. Budu. Buddy, why? Why you want to be so rude? 
Why do you want to be a rude Badu? You should be a nice Badu, not a rude Badu, okay? Don't be rude, Badu. I want you, so get caught, thank you. That's how this works. Um, I'm gonna name you... I'm naming you Sean. I don't know. So, actually, I, I do know why. My uh, next door neighbor has a cat named Sean, and the cat loves me a ton, and it's amazing. So, that's why. That's that's literally the explanation you're getting, so don't expect any more. <laughs> uh, okay. Can we... Okay, just making sure... We're... Okay, this is, <clears throat> this is a new route. But I don't think... Oh, no, I do... Have... No, there's no encounterable grass. They changed it. They made the changes. Big sad. Why you need to make the changes. I like the little no changes to that. Okay, but we don't have anything that we can really do here right now. Other than Bell Sprout Tower. So, because Bell Sprout Tower likes to crash, we are going to save the game. Because there's this one area that is a crash-heavy area. So, I want to make sure I save it. Just in case. Because, um, saving is important. Sprout Tower. What do you think we're going to get in Sprout Tower? I... I truly don't know. Uh, I, here's the thing. I want to... I wish that our Pokemon, like, our bottom half had some better moves. I'm gonna switch into Kronkanaw. I'm gonna switch into Sniper. One, because having Sniper out in the front is really cool. And two, because I like Sniper's moveset and want Sniper to be one of the better Pokemon on the team. For the nows. Plus it, like, levels up pretty quickly, so. There's, like, four different reasons why I put it in the front of the party. Hi, Hilda. I really should not have swapped, but I did. The only thing about Sniper that's a little bit oof, to kind of be honest, is the move. The moves are uh, not 100% accurate, so I can't 100% rely on Sniper. Whereas with Hilda, I can. Grovile. Pfft, we're swapping. Babe. No, but straight up, I have no idea who you guys are going to want to kill. And to me, I feel like it could literally be any Pokemon. Again, it's one of it's one of those fun scenarios where it could literally be anyone, and if, I wouldn't even be mad because y'all are gonna make the decision that you guys choose to want to make anyway. To want that's just dead. Okay, <laughs> like what decision would you make? Honestly, like that's all I'm asking is what is your honest decision because that's what I want to know, right? I want you guys to make the most honest decision for yourselves and what you guys think. A spooky plate. Don't have a ghost type yet. Maybe the game is foreshadowing that. I wouldn't mind if the game foreshadowed a, like, a Gengar or a Miss Magius or uh, anything that Troll has in FAP, honestly. Um, Mill Tank. It's our milky mother. It's... Oh... Dang it, I don't... I was gonna try, but, like... It's like I know I was gonna be wrong on the second line, because I was gonna be savior of our sins, and I'm like, that is not right. But, good attempt, me. But if you haven't watched the Farm Block episode one, that is where I'm trying to quote from, but Troll is, like, crazy when it comes to nicknames, but we already knew that, because... You know, I've had Troll on the channel already twice in the last few episodes. So, but honestly, Troll's an amazing person. Um, but that's not where that theory is from. So Troll is an amazing person who came up with that nickname for the farm lock, which is on Joy's channel. Really complicated way to say go to Joy's channel and check it out. But, you know, I if I'm not being complicated, then who am I exactly? Complicated is normal on this channel. Complication is normality, honestly. Like, everybody knows that. Um, and honestly, complication has been a big, big thing lately. And it's been... And I, I am now understanding why being complicated 
can be annoying. Um, so, like, giving it to you straight is probably better than let me give it to you in the most complicated, over-explained way. Because it's like, just get to the point already. And I get it. Like, but I love being, I, I am a full detail, full throttle person. Like, if I'm going to give you a detail on something, I'm going to give you the here, who, what, when, where, why, how. I'm not, I'm not one of those people that is like, it's this because that. Because if I do that, then I'm like, why, what is the point? Why does this have to exist? And you see where that problem leads. So, it is one of those things that I, I wish that I could do that. But I cannot. Okay, our encounter in the Bellsprout Tower. Which I really love that they did this, by the way. Game. <laughs> really? <laughs> I can't use this. I, I can't, because it's Dupe's Claws. Dang it. You really had to pull that. Game. The game would pull that kind of BS, though. Like, if it's if the game didn't pull that BS, I would be shocked. And now we have Joy. I really should have just kept Taylor as my lead. Apparently. Oh, Metronome Slam. That could have been bad. Also, fun fact. The part of the reason why I'm trying not to use Taylor, but the game is forcing me to, is Taylor's not going to learn any other moves except for TMs. So, experience is kind of not the most valuable thing. But no, this game is telling me, nope, you gotta, you gotta use Taylor for everything. And I'm like, <gasps> Brittany! It's a male Brittany! Why is everyone coming back? Oh my god! Brian! I'm gonna name you Brian, I think, because it was actually a female last time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I mean, I gotta naturally evolve it again, but whatever. It's fine. It's chill. Uh, Brian. Wow. That's amazing. Okay. I can't believe it. Okay. I can't wait to go ahead and see what, what Brittany has, right? Because... That's going to be a big one. Oh, hey! Speaking of the Mon that has roleplay that I was just talking about. Bye! I mean, I know you're Mace's favorite Pokemon, but like... Wow! Okay, I'm happy. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to use my escape rope, which they actually give you right here, but no. Oh! I'm not even mad. Like, I could have had a... It's like, a lot of people would be like, Ugh! I got a V-Pass! Ugh! But I could have had a Celebi! And I'm like... But over here, I'm over here like, that's usable, I think. Uh, oh, no, it's not. It's money. It's money. It's fine. Uh, this, I'm, if I was playing the actual Gen 4, okay, then it would be usable, but I'm not. Okay, well, you're going to lead off with a Porygon that has hail. Well, that's dead. And you're going to have a Hitmon top, which, na 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 babe, to want. And that should die to a Mist Ball. It does not, but it's it's okay. Mist Ball, I don't know if Mist Ball is 100% accurate. I know Iron Head is. So let's use it. To want, let's use it. Learn Attack Order. Okay. So to want, if I get rid of Roleplay... Because I was, like, I feel bad, right? I was just, not two seconds ago, being like, that's such a good move, and hardy, hardy, har. But the coverage on Tarant, I feel like I might as well. I just don't feel like I'm going to be able to utilize it anyways. So we might as well break it while we can. <laughs> That's my logic here. Uh, Mawile is the final Mon, and that is a babe problem. Oh, wow, babe. Uh, hi. 
I know that I should have like used Heat Wave because because it's better, but TM70, which I know is not Flash. What is it? Mud Slap. That gives me some memories. Honestly, that is a memory-inducing move, and I appreciate it. I love the memories from the, like, from Mud Slap. Like, okay, so actually, it was one of my favorite, if not my favorite cave match with Joy. Um, oh, let me go ahead and save. Um, was the cage match where it was the two big, big boy water types versus Roomba and Mark. Like, that was, again, 100% one of, if not my favorite cage match. Um, the other cage matches were awesome and fun, but th none, none I don't think more fun than that. Um, and we're talking about cage matches because... I mean, I mean, yes, realistically, oh, like, we've only got up to number six, the sixth cage match, and with it being tied three to three, I guess it makes, but, like, a lot of people would be like, wow, you chose a cage match that you lost in as one of your favorites? Oh my god. Uh, and I'm like, yes, because I value, my objective value isn't based upon whether or not. Um, I win or lose. The objective value is, did I have fun in this match? Yes, and that's why I love the Effery Pokemon Association, or Effery Association of Pokemon, because it's not valued upon whether or not you win or lose. Winning is fun, don't get me wrong, but if I lost a game, does it matter? No, not really, it's just for the sake of having fun. But, of course, I want to win, so, like, that's fine. Okay, what do we have? We have Quiet. Which I believe is actually up special attack. Oh my gosh. Are we actually? It is. Oh my god. <gasps> what is this move? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Power whip, wood hammer, or drill and full tackle. <laughs> Cross poison acid armor spike cannon and said headbutt. Oh, I didn't even notice that you have a trash like everything. You had a memento as well. That honestly surprised that that didn't bite me in the butt. Uh Jonas got bit in the butt a hundred times from that, so like the fact that it didn't. Okay, so on that note, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And we'll see you guys in the next episode when we take on Faulkner. Super duper scary, but we'll be able to do it. Love y'all. Bye!